All right, I just wanted to make a little toolbox door video. I ain't made a video in a while. I used to make videos on, on the razor there, and just ain't got out on it much lately, but I still got it. Oh, I like to watch toolbox tours, and I like commenting a lot on toolbox videos and whatnot, so I figured I'd make a little video on my own and what I got. And, um, it's my first garage. Made a video in here on my channel a few years ago. It was pretty empty in here. And I've been doing a good job of filling it up. <laughs> so I'm, a, I'm not a mechanic. I'm a do-it-yourself. I don't know if I just said that or not. I'm in the laborers union. Uh, I do fences and guardrails uh, commercially. Um, it's good. It's decent. I make decent money. Uh, it allows me to do what I want to do in life. So anyway, shop tour. Uh, it's my latest little project from Harbor Freight. It's a 12 ton shop press. Comes with a regular bottle jack. I went and uh, grabbed the pneumatic bottle jack. I've seen this on another YouTube channel. It just basically fits right in there. You gotta just drill a couple holes, mount that plate in the bottom in there. Anyway. Try not to shake my phone too much. I do have GoPros, they're in the house. I didn't feel like digging them all out and charging them, so I'll take it with my phone. Got my bench, got a TV, some Milwaukee stuff, some shelves over here. Can never have enough wire. All good wire right there. Copper wire, laptop, some chargers, got my snap-on chargers and Milwaukee chargers. Gotta have the snap-on Bible down there. <laughs> <clears throat> some torque wrenches. I ain't gonna make this video too long. These are some older ones I've had, and these are the ones I've recently picked up. Snap-on, three ace, uh, five pounds to 100 pounds. Very nice, back angle. And I got the half-inch drive. It's got the black chrome, very nice tech angle. Don't keep the battery in I actually store these in my house in the winter. I leave them out here in the summer, but in the winter it gets cold here in Connecticut and I have a shop heater, works very well. Propane power, 70 degrees in here. Very nice, don't need no ventilation with that kind of heating system. That was actually in the garage when I moved in. You can see all the snow we got. It's very cold outside, but nice and warm in here. So I, I take the torque wrenches in and I take all my batteries in and anything that has a battery in it, like the headlamps here and stuff, because you know, I know light bulb batteries, one thing they don't like is extreme cold. And I don't run the heat all week. I only run it in here on the weekends and yeah, it costs too much. Anyways, it's probably one of my favorite lights. I don't think too many people have this light. I haven't seen it too much on YouTube, but it's a searchlight and it has a floodlight option. These four little outside LEDs are a floodlight. They work real good at getting light around objects like, you know, like brake lines and, and, and radiator hoses and stuff. It really casts the light around them. I like this light a lot. It's the 18 volt. Very good light. The searchlight on it is, is extremely bright. You can use this in all kinds of situations. Great, great to have in a vehicle, side of the road type thing. Awesome, awesome light. Got a couple of, I call them puck lights, but snap on lights with the little adjustable legs here. Magnetic. You got one red, one green. That way I can tell them apart and I know which one I've been using more or less or, you know, keep track of them anyway. Same with those. Those are actually different though. This is like a double-sided flip out light with the flashlight on, but this guy I like a little more. It's smaller and it just has a, projects the beam further where this one has more of a consistent light, but it doesn't cast very far. Uh, probably messing that all up. A little snap-on battery. Charge stuff, charge your phone, charge, um, you know, plug the lights into it. If they're dying and you still want to use them. 
little slimline snap on, bunch of 14 4 batteries up there. Anyways, try to keep this thing. This video is gonna get out of control. <clears throat> wrenches, keep all my wrenches in the top drawers of these boxes. Uh, this is a Craftsman box my wife got me for Christmas a few years ago. I really like it. It's got the soft close feature. I'm sure everybody knows. I've seen these written this box on YouTube quite a bit. <clears throat> got the gear wrench, zero degree offset, double box in, ratcheting one end. Let's see, here, zero degree offset in the other. Goes eight all the way up to 25. It's two sets, eight to 19, then you bought the add-on set, 20 to 25. I always like buying the add-on set if there is an add-on set. Uh, these are the snap-on, same thing, double box end, ratcheting on one end, and then zero degree offset on the other. Yeah. Let's get that little hand in there so the camera will actually focus on it. Um, I didn't mention the snap-on light, floodlight, super floodlight, 5,000 lumen LED. It's got plugs in the back. It's got a nice extension cord on it. You can plug it in. Got some capris in here, double box in. Zero degree offset. Uh, no, no ratcheting on those. Nice wrenches though. I like capri. I like all tools. I like Sunex, uh, Tecton. I don't even go over this drawer. Snap-on wrenches. It's a 10 to 17 set, skip 16. It's their smaller set, one and on uh, auction on eBay. All my tools came from eBay. All my Snap-on Mac, Maco tools anyways, came from eBay. Oh, I got that set of wrenches right there for 120 bucks on a bid. No one else bid on them, couldn't pass it up. I have a complete set in the next drawer down. Uh, these are some uh, like mid-links. Metric and SAE. 5 16ths to 9 16 and this is a 10, 10 millimeter to 14 millimeter. Those are some super short double box in flex ratcheting. They're called marbles. Marbles? Found them on eBay. I like them. I bought them singularly. Got a whole little set of them in there. Got some snap-on 60 degree offset wrenches. That's a five, normally a five piece set. This is a three piece set, bought them used on eBay. Yep, okay. This is the bigger set of flank drive plus that I was talking about, snap-on. This set I've had, this is my main set, it goes eight, all the way up to 25 millimeter. And they're all flank drive plus. Two different sets, 10 to 19, and then the add-on set, 20 to 25. And then I bought the eight and nine millimeter separate. Oh, phone call. Anyway, those are some, that's an tw extra 23 and a 26 I bought used separate. They're not flank drive plus. These are SK. Uh, six point box on. Regular combination wrench. Snap on four way angle wrenches, 10 to 17. And they're also flank drive plus. And drawer next to that. I like to keep my wrenches across from each other. Top four drawers. I got more wrenches than that box. The whole top of that box is full of wrenches. There's a snap on ratcheting wrenches in the foam. It's got the numbers embossed in there. Very nice set. Ratcheting. Dual 80 technology, flank drive plus, the whole set. It's one set. Came in the foam, six to 19 millimeter. Now I'm gonna jump to the other box. So we stay on wrenches. That way I don't, I just think it's better to stay on wrenches. Got some SK line wrenches, some snap on line wrenches. Flare nut wrenches, line wrenches, whatever you want to call them. Top box is, uh, top drawer I mean, is uh, mostly SAE stuff. Those are Tecton stubbies. Some Husky stubby ratcheting. This set, the first few here are Tecton up to 7 16ths and half inch up to one inch. It's gear wrench. 
SAE, flex head ratcheting, tech thin, and then the metric set, eight to 19. I like these, these are, pick these up because they, I really wanted to try out the six point ratcheting. Plus I like Tecton. I got quite a bit of Tecton tools. Before I knew I could buy Snap-on off of eBay, I was buying all Tecton and then realized I could, you can get just buy Snap-on anything you want off of eBay. And a lot of the times in the bidding, I, I pay less than, a lot less than what it retails for. These are all ratcheting wrenches. <coughs> this drawer is actually all gear wrench. Got some straight ratcheting wrenches I've had. Uh, this little set, I, I, I picked up at AutoZone, you know, they are advanced, one of them, they are switching over to their new line of tools, like TQ something, and they were selling this 10 to 15 set for like 8 bucks, and I'm like, I can't turn it down, I can't turn down a good deal, if it's a good deal, I just, uh, I'll either sell them later, or give them to a friend, or one of my stepkids, or whatever, these are X-Beams, gear wrenches, X-Beams, 8 to 19, 18 and 19 are back there. They don't fit in the rack. I can't get the drawer to close. They're x beam so they are kind of funky. They even put them in the rack. They got the little tooth in there. Big fan of gear wrench. Just got these. I haven't even really got to use them yet. Next drawer. More wrenches. Tecton. Long. Double box in. Set of gear wrenches, newer wrenches. Got the little, little, oh man, little tooth in there, kind of like a flank drive plus kind of thing idea. These are the newer wrenches. They're they're a lot slimmer in the head and in the open ends here. The knuckles used to be humongous on gear wrench. Little set goes ten to twenty two. Set of tech in, stubby, non ratcheting, eight to nineteen. Some Sunex torque adapters with one snip on in the end. Got some Husky stubby ratcheting, 10 to 15. More wrenches, mountain wrenches, double box end flex ratcheting, zero degree offset. I really like these. These things come in super handy, reversible. Everybody knows about these. Everybody's got them. You can get them in mountain or platinum. Uh, Mountain doesn't make the add-on set, as far as I can tell, only Platinum does. You got the 21, 22, 24, and 25. <clears throat> now, let me tell you, that's a big wrench. This is a really big, big wrench. And I've seen on eBay, they got a 27, 30 millimeter on there. Guy wants... Over a hundred dollars for it. I ain't willing to, ain't willing to budge. So. Maco, the gastro pneumatic makes these, but the uh, turbo style socket, turbo in, turbo on the box, and even some more over there. A bunch of people have these. Eight to nineteen set. I'm not gonna go over every single thing in the drawers because uh, the video would just be way too long. I needed some big wrenches. So these are my big wrenches. I went with the Max. I like Mac a lot. <clears throat> I know Mac doesn't make these. I get it. I still like them. It was, I can't, I didn't want to buy the snap on oversight. It was like $500 for like four wrenches or three wrenches or something. And these are nice. The Chrome's beautiful. I like them. It's better than going with the Harbor Freight Room, which. You know, that ain't a bad idea either, but I, I like those better. These are Matco 21 to 25 ratcheting. Again, with the Mac, I like these these guys so much, I couldn't help but pick up this 6 to 19 set. I love this case. I grab these. I take these with me if I'm going on a trip or something. Or I throw these in the truck a lot. I, I really like the case on that. A lot of wrenches in the... Very small area. More Tecton wrenches. I think they're like 30 or 40 degree offset, double box in. 
goes from six millimeter to 32 millimeter back there. <clears throat> That's the last of the wrenches. I guess we'll pick up in this back in this box. Pick up with the socket drawer. Oh yeah, ratchet drawer. Bunch of ratchets. Love my ratchets. Ever since a kid, used to watch my dad work on stuff. Used to sit there and spin the ratchet in my hand like a fidget spinner, basically. <laughs> You know, it's a fidget spinner for tool addicts, I guess. <laughs> anyway, nice little collection. I got some half inch snap on comfort grip. One of these guys is lock and flex head. This guy is not a lock and flex head. They're both 18 inches. The bent handle comfort grip. I got two of the three A's lock and flex heads. Comfort grip. This is a. Uh, Hands down, my favorite ratchet to the point. When I seen a good one going, uh, good price, and a bid on a second one, I grabbed it. Got two of those. Regular flex head, no lock. A little bit of a shorter, shorter handle, comfort grip. And these are a quarter inch comfort grip. Lock, this one's a lock and flex head. And this guy's a lock and flex head with a quick release. Or lock release. Both lock and flex heads. This guy's a polished handle. Lock and flex head. Quick release. Quarter inch. And then this guy's a quarter inch body. Three eighths anvil. Pretty handy little guy. Snap on bit ratchet. It's pretty cool. It's got the swivel head on it. You can put bits in there like torx bits and hex bits this is a long handle snap on quarter inch vintage and my dad gave me this and basically the only reason i have an old tool and it mixed with all my new good tools yeah <clears throat> anyway got a couple macro ratchets three ace lock and flex heads I just got this guy, red handle, got the flag on there, lock and flex head, three A's. I've had this orange handle for a while, I've used it quite a few times, really like it. I've seen this, I really like the black and red, yep, that's basically why I bought it. Mac, Axis, three A's. No lock and flex head. And then this is the snap on multi position. Three ace. Got some gear wrench. 120 XP comfort grips in there. And this is a snap on polished handle. Three ace flex head. This is my uh, go to ratchet. Just because it's the polished handle and it cleans up a lot easier. And I, it's just, I, I like it. The, the, it's my go to ratchet anyway. Those guys just sit there a lot. <laughs> 120 XP. Stubby, a quarter, three eighths, half there. Some more gear wrench, some Carlisle ratchets. I like Carlisle a lot. I know it's made in Taiwan, still like it. I think it's very good quality stuff. Those are some F80s right here. Snap on, two of those guys sitting back there. I think I missed this little guy right here. A little quarter inch snap on. I don't know, anyway. Get into some specialty sockets and bits. I already showed this drawer. Got some Nipex scissors in there. Some gear wrench X Corp pinless swivels. Hex sockets. Standard length stubbies. Ball in. And I got my Torx here. And then I got the long standard and ball. Those are the put in wrenches, ratcheting wrenches, and turn them into a ratchet. Flip socket snap on, quarter inch pass through set, SAE, this is the metric one, 
snap on, snap on 3A slow profile. One of my socket tours. Got quite a bit of socket stuffed in there. Most of them are snap on. But I do got some Mako gear wrench in here. The swivels down here. These half inch drives right here are gear wrench swivels. And then we got the Mako ADV quarter inch, five to 15. And then Mako ADV three eighths drive, 10 to 19 swivels. And then these deeps right here are snap on three eighths drive, 10 to 18. And then I got it. This is my three eighths quarter inch, some of my 12 point stuff. And then my half inch drive stuff right up in here. Oh, I thought it turned you off. Look at you. Oh, you can make all kinds of noise in the middle of my video. That'll, that'll go back off in a second. Hopefully it's not too loud in the video. 3H drive, chromes, shallow, semi deep, and deep. What it is, I got two sets of semi-deeps here. These are their, their older style, before the FDXs. I've had these for a few years. These are the first snap-on tool I ever bought with these sockets. And then uh, I bought these deeps, which are the same. And then I went out to one day finish up my 3 H drives, chromes, and went to buy the shallows. And I was seeing it says FDX, FDX, and I'm like, what are these guys trying to just rename it and get more money or something? But uh, no, Snap-on actually did come out with a new socket, Flank Drive Extra. It's got bigger double embossed numbers, like their impact sockets. <clears throat> uh, bought those, and then I like these so much, I, I got them in semi-deeps. That's why there's two sets of semi-deeps. So these are the flank drive extra shallow semi-deeps and then these are the older. And I put these little orange dots in there kind of from like the idea of toolbox widget. Just little uh, inventory stickers, but kind of let you know if you're missing a socket or something. I, I thought that was a good idea. It didn't take that long to put them in there. So anyways, 3H drives and then 3H drives impacts. Shallow, 8 to 19, 21, 24 add. Then the same with the deeps, 8 to 19, with a 21 and a 24. Quarter inch drive, chrome. All my quarter inch drive is FDX. Because once I found out they have FDX sockets, I didn't have any quarter inch yet, and I, and I made sure to buy them all in the FDX version. They are a nice tight fitting socket and I haven't had any like problems with them actually fitting like I've heard other guys say, but I, I do have Carlisle sockets that, you know, these don't fit on something. I, you know, I wasn't worried about it. I got two sets of the semi deeps again. Anyway, and you got the deeps. Some 12 point SAE quarter inch and then these are quarter inch right here, shallow metric 12 point, and then, oh man, trying to look through the camera is not easy. Got the deeps, quarter inch, this sets 3 eighths, 8 to 19, some half inch chromes down here, half inch impacts, 10 to 27, some Mako thin wall flip sockets, and yeah, we're going to keep this thing moving. Extension, adapter drawer. I like these gear wrench. Eight inch extensions with the X core swivel heads on them. These things have been coming in super handy. Really like those. We got some three snap on impacts, some other Capri impacts, some snap on quarter inch wobble plus, some Mac quarter inch, and Cobalt and Craftsman, and Harbor Freight. Get out of the fire drawer. These guys right here are snap on. You got the slip jaw, the needle nose, the three pack set with the dikes, and then uh, 
Got the needle nose, the smaller three pair set, needle nose 45. Those are all snap on right there. And then some Irwin stuff, the double X, some Tecton over here, some Sun X hose pliers, some more Tecton. Got some Nipex Cobras and some Nipex Macos. I actually really like. I got some Irwin vice grips, some snap on lock and draw pliers, and some panel popper tools, hammers, dead blows, that's a brass ball peen. Got a uh, snap on air hammer here. Those are snap on air hammer bits, Irwin extractor, rounded off bolts. This is the snap on uh oh kit, left hand drill bits, a couple different extractors, some X drive lines, sockets, gear wrench serpentine belt tool, bottom drawer, a bunch of big bolt cutters, some PWZs, my right angle grinder. We're moving along now. Uh, snap on. You know, cordless ratchets, 14-4 align. Love snap-ons, 14-4 align. I like Milwaukee's 18-volt line, so that's kind of where I'm at. Everything smaller is snap-on, 14-4, and everything bigger than mine is Milwaukee. I like these. They're the screw gun style without the chuck on them. So I got drill bits that will fit in here. They're the quarter inch on them, so I can still drill with this thing, but I mostly use it as a screw gun for getting into hard to reach places on the razor. And uh, yeah, we got the inline one there. Little mini power drawer that this box comes with. Oh, so this is Snap-on quarter inch CT725. Uh, this is the CT761 three ace, 14 four. And then this is the regular Pistol style screw gun, CT7, CTS 761. This is a CT 761 also. It's got the quarter inch uh, quick release on it, uh, but it is a, the CT 761 uh, body and motor and everything in the power of the CT 761, but it got the QC on the end for the quick chuck. <laughs> Just like Milwaukee's uh, quarter inch impact uh, hex. I got an old Milwaukee quarter inch hex back here. I got a fuel drill, 18 volt. Milwaukee impact and right angle. Milwaukee multi purpose tool. Milwaukee 3 A's 18 volt. Got the rubber boot. I really like Milwaukee's rubber boot. I think they have hit by far the best rubber boot. It fits the gun so good, and it's thick, and yeah, that's the best rubber boot, hands down. They're expensive, though. Like 35 bucks for this boot. Milwaukee half-inch drive, 27.67. Big Bertha. Use it a lot on the Cummins. And a Carly adjustable track bar and a one inch leveling kit and all that kind of stuff and that suspension, man. Real bear. Ah, man. This video is already too long. Snap on tap and die set. That's the metric set, some laying re thread stuff. If anything, these are your best friend if you're going to reuse bolts. Uh, it, it cleans up threads like no other. The, the, this is a, not a tap and die set. It's a re-thread set. It fixes threads. It restores threads. And it's excellent on getting Loctite off. These are snap-on carbide bits. Some uh, Harbor Freight Ski stuff there. Some Harbor Freight Ski stuff. Some snap-on trim tools. Three-piece set. Instinct handle trim tools. These guys are labeled Maco, but Fuel Mueller Coops. Coops, Mueller Coops makes these. That's a real nice set. It's just a cheap uh, digital caliper from Herbert Frank. Punches and chisels. I just got these. Snap on comfort grips, like them. Harbor Freight, Harbor Freight, Mayhew. Some Napa scrapers. This is my Torx drawer, Torx screwdriver drawer. They're all orange handle, snap on them, Torx long. 
and the, the master set there, the standard lengths, and then I got the minis here, and went all orange, so I know my screwdrivers from my Torx drivers, Carlisle, Nexon pry bars, my screwdriver drawer, ratcheting, I had to pick up this gray one, match my gunmetal set, this is the kind where you got the button and you can turn it into like a pistol style. This is a regular ratcheting, got the stubby ratcheting. I think it's super handy, that's the most handy thing right there. Eight piece set, seal tools, long picks, short picks, and screwdrivers. Next drawer down, a little bit of the same thing. I seen this set came out, seen it for a good price on eBay, brand new. I couldn't pass them up. I really like this color design. I haven't even used these, none of these yet. 12 piece set. They finally came out with a 12 piece set too. That was the other thing. You actually get a number three. And to my surprise, you even get a number four. Yeah. <clears throat> I got some matching picks, some of those promo, you know, pocket pipe pry bars that, you know, I guess snap arms come back at max thing, I don't know. Carlisle precision Torx drivers and precision screwdrivers, those things are really nice. Carlisle three quarter bar down there, this is my, all my other sockets, I guess I should say, this is my metric drawer, another metric drawer. Oh yeah, that drawer is mostly, it was all metric too. And then this is all metric. And then the drawer below this one, it has my SAE sockets. The Sunex set thing I just picked up off of eBay. It's got the dual drive sockets. Uh, I don't know, Sunex magnetic quarter inch drives. And the Sunex hex drive. These are all Carlisle. These four inch drawer, quarter inch shallow, quarter inch deep, three eighths shallow, three eighths deep. These sockets are awesome. I use them all the time. If I'm working on somebody else's car, I, or you know, something rusty or beat up. And I have half inch drive chrome here. This is a Tecton set. It's a big set for 200 bucks. You can't beat it. Comes with SAEs. Goes 10 all the way to 32 millimeter. Shallow and deep, 32 millimeter. These are some gear wrench 12 points, some Husky big wrenches, a Dural ass pass through set. I'm probably talking too fast, ruining the whole video, but. From here over is it, my SAE sockets. This is a three quarter inch Sunex set metric I just picked up for a good price. It goes from 26 millimeter all the way to 46 millimeter. Uh, yeah, and then uh, those are SAE, you know, these are teched in with some Carlisle stuff and some extra Torx bits and hex bits. And this is my electrical drawer. Got some snap on torches. Both of these are the Torch 400s. That's a Power Probe 3 set. I like this thing for doing trailers. It's got the long extension cord in there. The snap on butane soldering iron. This guy is super handy. Awesome when doing trailers. I can't get it off one handed. You can tell that tip's uh, she been used a little bit, but I'll put that back after. Klein, this is an amp clamp and multimeter reader. And Cheaper meter. This is a Lang rethread set, but this is, like, this is like their master set. Covers SAE and metric. Uh, under that is the Fuse Saver kit, master kit, power probe uh, lead set. That pretty much wraps up those two boxes. That box is full of zip ties and O-rings and everything of that kind of nature. Uh, that's what's in that box. Got my Napa roll cart. I like this one better than the Harbor Freight one. And it's just my opinion. 
Got the Carlisle screwdrivers in there. Tecton screwdrivers over there. Some gear wrench long screwdrivers. You know, this thing is just mainly full of, uh, I don't know, it's just some overflow. That's all Amazon cheapy stuff or cheapy stuff, some mirrors. This guy ain't bad, I know, I know. I could have just bought this and never spent three grand on my ratchet chore. I, I, I get it, I get it, guys, I get it. It's my money. That's all I'm gonna say on that subject. These are teched in. Some cheapy stuff, some Milwaukee strikeables. It's like a PM drawer down here. Magnetic trays, the claw, caliper spreaders, a bunch of stuff to clean parts off. I think uh, Harbor Freight definitely has good tools. I think this is one of them that they tone it for a ton. Use that for the RAM. Anyways, this video is way too long.